Back in October, I think, Microsoft announced iHeartRadio integration with Groove. And typically when they do something like this and they explain how it works, I kind of put it together on my PC and I take screenshots of it. I couldn't figure out how it works. So at the time, I just said, well, here's what they said. You know, maybe it's something that comes online over time. And I, I actually never figured it out. And so over the Christmas holiday, uh, at some point, I saw something about it somewhere. And I said, you know what? I'm going to figure this out. And actually, as it turns out, um, you have to meet very specific conditions to ever see iHeartRadio from within Groove. First, you have to have a Microsoft account. So you have to have signed into the app with your Microsoft account. And second, that uh, account cannot have a Groove Music Pass. If it does, you're not going to see the iHeartRadio integration. And so the reason it's there is to give people who don't have a Music Pass a way to have a real radio-style experience because without it, you only get uh, you know, song, uh, song snippets or whatever. And so um, I have an article about this if for some reason you want to use this. But honestly, iHeartRadio works best as a standalone app. And so if you want to use iHeartRadio for radio, which is not a bad option, just run the app because you can make radio stations based on all kinds of criteria, not just on artists, which is how it works through Groove. So um, I finally figured it out. It only took me three months. Uh, so enjoy that if you need it for some reason. Um, by the way... you iHeartRadio also has the Tech Guy, my radio show, in there. And it probably doesn't show up in Groove. So, yeah, the app will be the better. The app way is way that. better than that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're, yeah. you're going to end up in the app anyway. I mean, the reason you would use it from Groove is you like some kind of an artist and you're like, well, I'd like to hear music like this, but from other artists. And you can start the radio station from there. But actually, if you go into the iHeartRadio app itself, there's a lot more going on there. And so it's kind of a better option. Cool. Um, a little news item from late 2015. Uh, Microsoft reneged on its uh, OneDrive uh, unlimited storage. Oh, I, I heard, I don't know about if you heard that. that story. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we didn't really cover it too much. Uh, um, mm. In case you missed it, <laughs> so that happened. But you may recall later on they came back and they said, okay, so if you guys uh, were using the camera discount or if you were just using that 15 gigs of free space, and you know, previously seven, and if you want that back, we're going to give you a way to do it. That way is available now if you haven't seen it. You want to go to preview.onedrive.com slash bonus. And you click on a button that says keep your free storage. And that will give you up to 30 gigs of free storage on OneDrive forever. Um, and so remember, the original kind of um, uh, setback was that they were going down to 5 gigs. And so if you did have the 15 gigs from before, you didn't have to be using it. You just had it. And or you also took advantage of the 15 gigabyte camera roll bonus, which means you installed OneDrive on a mobile phone and set it up to uh, back up your photos. Could be iOS, could be Android, could be Windows Phone. Um, you will get either 15 or 30 gigabytes of storage now as your default in OneDrive. So it, this is a no-brainer. you got to do this. Um, just do it. <laughs> so uh, preview.onedrive.com slash bonus. And then just a quick reminder is kind of a quick tippy thing because I always talk about this. Um, it's the beginning of January. Uh, that means there are new games with golds, uh, games with gold. So if you have an Xbox 360 or better yet an Xbox One, because you get all the games on Xbox One, um, head over to the store on the console or the Xbox.com website and see what they are. Um, there aren't any games I'm super interested in this month personally, but uh, Killer Instinct is in there, Dirt Showdown, which is a racing game. Uh, this is good stuff in there, uh, you know, depending on the types of things you like to play. And let's see what else do I got here. I also, I, it's kind of multiple apps. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about changing the way I do software picks because, of course, you know, now Microsoft makes apps everywhere. Um, what I would like, preferably, is to be able to recommend apps that work across platforms, preferably across all platforms. That's not always the case. Um, but uh, this past couple weeks or so, uh, sometime in the past week or 10 days, whatever, Microsoft released a new app on iOS for some reason uh, only, uh, Microsoft Selfie. And I'm sure they called it Microsoft Selfie because any... <laughs> trendy kid that owns an iPhone sees the word Microsoft and immediately wants to download it. Um, <laughs> but it, it's it's a little bit like the Lumia selfie app that Microsoft or actually Nokia released first on uh, Windows Phone. Um, I don't know why it's not on Android. I suppose it will be. But I just wanted to throw a bone out to the people on other platforms. So if you have uh, Windows Phone, iOS, or Android, I've made this recommendation in the past. Um, I use the Pocket Cast apps. You do have to pay for it. It's a podcast app. I love it. I use it every single day. Cross platform, you can get it on Love the web it as well. It's yep. great. Yep. Um, and this, if for Android fans, uh, Microsoft makes some great uh, things that you can get that really transform an Android phone into kind of a Microsoft phone. And if you're kind of thinking about switching <laughs> platforms, <laughs> Wait, um, really, you think that's a, there's a high demand for that? Uh, I think there is a high demand for that within the community of people listening to this podcast. Yes. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> you there know, you go. That's in other <laughs> words, you have 
uh, been using Windows Phone, and and you kind of see that the end is near, and you're kind of tired of the oh, app switching situation. to Android. Yes. Ah. Oh yeah, not not in the opposite. <laughs> no, it makes no, your Android no. more like a Windows Phone. Yes, I'm not an insane person, Leo. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> one of those things is uh, Microsoft Next lock screen. It's one of a couple of lock screen replacements that Microsoft makes. This one's awesome. Uh, it's a really really cool lock screen. It has different um, uh, settings for when you're at work, or home, or out on the road, and all that kind of stuff. It's neat. Um, in many ways, the more exciting one though is the Arrow launcher, and this completely changes the whole home screen experience on Android. And uh, it puts your most used apps up front, and they have different views for recents and so forth. It's really great. And uh, this one, I didn't put this in the notes, but just in beta right now, and it's constantly evolving. Uh, Microsoft is also porting Cortana, of course, to iOS and Android. And on Android in particular, uh, it should, not now, but it should in the future uh, be pretty sophisticated and should be something that could even replace Google Now, if that's the kind of thing you want to do on Android. So it is possible on Android today to have a pretty awesome Microsoft experience, not just the apps, but you know, kind of replace the whole Android, well, a lot of the Android experience. I mean, obviously phone and uh, texting and so forth, those are going to remain uh, whatever the Android stuff is. But um, you can replace a lot of it now uh, and put Microsoft stuff in its place. I have to, is there, like, can, is there one place you could go to see all of that? There is. Microsoft has an app on Android called the Microsoft Apps ah. app. Oh, that's <laughs> a good, so it's like a little their, store yeah. within. It is I, a store within I'll a store. I'll install that, yeah. Or a store within your Android phone anyway. Huh. You can also, you know, if you um, if you visit the app stores on the web, if you go to the iTunes store on the web or you go to the uh, Google Play store on the web and you find any Microsoft app, you could search for like yes. Microsoft Word, you click on the, the name of the company that makes right. it and then you'll pretty much see all the apps. Right. Um, it's not actually all the apps because some apps like Skype are listed as a different publisher mm. for some reason, but it's, you can see most of the apps that way. But on Android, they do make an app that shows you all the apps, which is kind of a neat little idea. Yeah. Arrow launcher. Do you use Arrow Launcher? Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I really like it a lot, and they have, they. I think there's three default panels, but you can actually add some other ones. And so they have, it's it's sort of based around the notion of um, promoting the stuff you use the most. It's not just apps; it's like the people that you communicate right. with right. will also show up. Uh, it most, really you know, simplifies the UI. The reviews are yeah. very strong on this. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a complete it. overhaul of the UI. So if you're kind of into right. Android, you might not be that interested in it. But right. And it's not like it turns it into Windows It doesn't phone. look That's like really when, there's point. no tiles or anything. It doesn't look like no, Windows No, no, it's not that. It's kind of a new way of thinking about the phone. You know, yeah. we use phones. We know how they work. We run apps. We talk to people or we communicate with people. How do we make that more efficient? Right. Kind of a, a new way to it's do it. It's a things. garage uh, project. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's good. That's really right. nice. Thank you. I'm now downloading it and I'll install it. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Mary oh, no, Jo. But now you're going to complain when it doesn't work. Oh, anymore. Paul, you told me to use this thing. You ruined my whole life. That's okay. It won't brick the phone, will it? Probably not. No. <laughs> oh, God. What? Not again. <laughs> I mean, not